हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ अंबिका खुराना फ्राम फैशन डिजाइनिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ खालसा कॉलेज फॉर वुमेन टूडे माई टॉपिक इज फैब्रिक एंड एसेंस ऑफ फैशन टेक्सटाइल इज एन अम्ब्रेला टर्म दैट इंक्लूड्स वेरियस फाइबर बेस्ड मटीरियल्स इंक्लूडिंग फाइबर्स यार्स फिलामेंट्स थ्रेड्स एंड डिफरेंट फैब्रिक टाइप्स फैब्रिक इज सिनोनमस विद क्लॉथ मटीरियल गुड्स और पीस गुड्स द वर्ड फैब्रिक ऑल्सो डिराइव फ्राम लेटिन वर्ड फैब्रिका A fabric is defined as any thin, flexible material made from yarn, directly from fibers, polymeric film, or any combination of these techniques. Fabric construction involves the conversion of yarns and sometimes fiber into a fabric, having characteristics determined by the material and methods employed. Most fabrics are presently produced by some methods of interlacing, such as weaving or knitting. Weaving is the major and oldest method of fabric production. Currently, knitted fabrics are rapidly increasing in importance and it is the second most widely used fabric construction technique. Other interlaced fabrics include net, lace and braid. Non-woven fabrics are also gaining importance and include materials produced by felting, bonding and knotting. The process of creating a fabric involves several steps from selecting the right fibers to the finish the final product woven fabrics woven fabrics are made of yarns interlaced in a regular order called a binding system or weave the binding system or weave however is the basic factor in determining the character of a woven fabric weaving is the process of combining warp and weft components to make a woven structure it includes basic weaves plain or tabby twill and satin and the fancy weaves include pile jacquard dobby and gauze in complex binding system the basic weaves are combined by hand manipulation or mechanical loom attachment to produce designs weaving is widely used for constructional method because it is cheap basically simple and adaptable woven fabrics are used in household apparel and industrial textiles <coughs> weaving process Woven cloth is normally much longer in one direction than the other. The lengthwise threads are called warp and the other threads which are combined with warp lie widthwise are called the weft. The sequence of primary operation in weaving cycle is thus shedding, picking and beating in. In the method of weaving before a weft is inserted in the warp the warp is separate over a short length extending from cloth already formed into sheet. This process is called shedding. A pick or a weft is then laid between the shed of warp in the operation known as picking. Then the further operation is called beating. It is necessary to push the pick to the desired distance away from the last one inserted previously. The weaving is done on a frame or machine known as loom of which there are number of types. Some weaving is still done by hand but the vast majority is mechanized which are high speed automatic bobbin changer looms knitted fabrics knitted fabrics are constructed by interlocking of series of loops made from one or more yarn with each row of loops caught into a preceding row which are formed either on a knitting needle or a crochet hook together in a line loops running lengthwise are called weaves and those running crosswise are called courses the needle is the basic element of all knitted machines the two main needle types are beard spring needle and the more common latch needle the knitting machines can be flat or circular the flat machines have their needles mounted in a flat plate or a needle bed or in a bed at a right angle to each other at 45 degree angle to the horizontal circular machines needles are carried in grooves cut in wall cylinder jacquard mechanism is attached to knitting machine so that individual needles can be controlled for each course and for every wheel the modern knitting industry with highly sophisticated machinery has grown from this simple device to seamless hosiery knitted in a tubular form is produced by circular knitting machines knitted fabrics include weft and the warp types racial and tricot the length of yarn into loop or stitch is termed as stitch length and in a plain knitted structure this is related to coarse per inch 
wheels per inch and stitch density. Non-woven fabrics. Non-woven methods involve creating a fabric without interlacing fiber. Instead, the fibers are bonded together through heat, chemical treatment or mechanical action. Non-woven fabrics often used in products such as filters, disposable medical products like gowns and masks. Felt. Felt are a class of fabrics or fibrous structure obtained through the interlocking of wool, fur or some hair fibers under a condition of heat, moisture and pressure. Other fibers will not felt alone but can be mixed with wool and act as a carrier. Bonding. Bonding is a process of joining two fabrics together with the use of heat, pressure, adhesive or other bonding agents. In adhesive bonding, fabrics are made by forming a web of fibers, applying an adhesive, then drying and curing the adhesive. The web can be produced by machine and several layers being piled up to obtain the required thickness. The fibers web may be stuck together in various ways. The web may be sprayed with an emulsion of adhesive. Example, a latex based synthetic rubber, acrylic derivatives or natural rubber may be carried on a mesh screen through a bath of latex. The excess being squeezed out by a pair of rollers. <coughs> Braid or plating. Braid is made by interweaving or three or more yarns of fabric strips forming a flat or tubular narrow fabric. It is used as trimming for belts and is used to sew together to make hats and braided rugs. Plating usually synonymously with braiding may be used in more limited sense, applying only to braid much from such materials as rope and straw. Knotting. Knotting involves tying threads together and is used in making tatting and macram. In conclusion, the fabric construction techniques play a crucial role in determining the properties and characteristics of a fabric we use every day from creating comfortable and breathable clothing to designing decorative and luxurious fabrics. These techniques have been refined over a centuries to produce high quality textiles that meet a diverse range of needs and preferences. Thank you.